This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 877, Smart People Ask Questions, part two by Ramit Sethi of I'll Teach You To Be Rich.com, and I'm Justin Malik. Happy Sunday, welcome to the award-winning podcast and one of the only podcasts in the world where blogs are narrated to you for free with permission from the authors, that's super important. Today, I'm narrating a post from Ramit of I'll Teach You To Be Rich, but it's a continuation from yesterday, so I'd recommend listening to yesterday's episode first But if you're all caught up, let's jump right into part two and continue optimizing your life. Smart People Ask Questions, part two, by Ramit Sethi of I'llTeachYouToBeRich.com. People who seek out advice are a good bet. After sitting in on about a billion meetings with real smart people and fake smart people, I've decided on a pretty good litmus test to tell them apart. If someone asks questions, he's probably smarter. Why? Because he's not afraid to admit that he doesn't know it all and comfortable enough to ask questions. That alone makes him smarter, plus the actual answer he gets from asking a question. In other words, if someone actively seeks out advice, I'd be willing to bet that they succeed more often than someone who tries to go it alone. Kay noticed the same thing. She writes, quote, Yesterday, I offered help in a field that I am an expert in. The response, why do you think I need help? I don't, thank you very much. I'm handling everything perfectly well on my own. I felt like she had slapped me in my face. And even though she was responding from emotion, I won't offer my assistance again. At one point in my life, I was the same way. I couldn't accept the help I needed. I tried to struggle through it on my own. Ironically, the more successful I am, the more I ask and accept help, which in turn allows me to become more successful. It's a circular thing. The trick is to start the circle, and the way to start it is to ask for help, unquote. Successful people don't need to act like they know it. Ironically, the more successful you get, the more questions you have. Anyway, back to Fuzzy Owl. As you can imagine, a company based on answering questions that people don't ask probably didn't last for long. We didn't, but the lesson stuck with me. People rarely ask questions. So I have a simple proposal. Ask questions, Jack. Asking questions of the right people does so many things. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You get your problem solved and you can potentially learn unexpected cool nuggets. But sometimes it's not obvious what we should ask questions about. Start with the obvious. I'm always confused when I meet someone who spends a lot of time doing something but isn't very good at it. For example, do you know people who never respond to their email? email, the tool we spend over six hours a day on, I wanna take them in a room, shake them upside down, and run off with all the money that falls out of their pockets. But really, whether it's email, driving, cooking, or whatever, these are things we spend a lot of time on. Wouldn't it make sense to ask someone for their tips on how to do it better? For many people, it never occurs to ask someone else for a few tips on improvement. Easy for me to say, right? I didn't actively ask my mom how to cut an onion but I should have. Think about the curious friends you have. They're the ones who are always asking questions. How did you get your computer to run so fast? How did you get the rain to fly off your windshield without wipers? How do you like your job? Some of these questions are more important than others, but being genuinely interested in how others do something can pay off big. As renowned author Jim Collins notes, quote, one day early in my faculty teaching career, I think it was 1988 or 1989, My mentor, John Gardner, sat me down. It occurs to me, Jim, that you spend too much time trying to be interesting, he said. Why don't you invest more time being interested? If you wanna have an interesting dinner conversation, be interested. If you wanna have interesting things to write, be interested. If you wanna meet interesting people, be interested in the people you meet, their lives, their history, their story. Where are they from? How did they get there? What have they learned? By practicing the art of being interested, the majority of people can become fascinating teachers. Nearly everyone has an interesting story to tell, unquote. So think about the things you do a lot. Can they be improved? You won't know until you ask someone who does it better than you. Pick five people and ask them each a question. Who knows what will happen? You just listened to part two of the post titled, Smart People Ask Questions by Ramit Sethi of I'll Teach You To Be Rich.com. 
This was a shorter episode. I'll leave it there for today. Thank you for being here and listening every day, including the weekends. And I'll be back tomorrow for Minimalist Monday. I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.